dogs got clipped today. Percy got clipped and Fitz got his first haircut. Look at him. Doesn't he look cute? Yes, he looks so cute. You both look so nice today. Yes, you do. Such handsome fellas. Yeah, this floor, I can't wait, can't wait, but it's coming. It's coming, right boys? Dead. You'll see thick smoke blanketing much of the capital region this hour. It started moving in late this afternoon. Now, Environment Canada has just issued a special air quality statement for the city of Edmonton, St. Albert, and Sherwood Park. Alberta Health Services has also issued a precaution. Well, I thought I was losing my mind because I was like, I wrote the doctor's today and it came out and it was so smoky and it's giving me such a flipping headache. It is, I can't even about tell you guys what it smells like. It's like you are positive. There is a campfire 20 feet from you that somebody has poured water on and it's just smoking and smoking. Your eyes are burning, your throat is burning, your chest is burning. Yeah, that is what it is like. It's just hard to imagine. I can't even imagine what it's like up at Fort McMurray because... Oh my God, we're hundreds of miles from there. But the weather has turned, the, um, just the wind has turned, and it's just like sitting heavy. You know, it's really gross. Ugh. But anyway, count your blessings, you're not burning. And hopefully it'll rain. So. We're inserting, or to call it inserting? No, what's the word? Um, installing the Nest Learning Thermostat. Richard got this when he combined the two utility bills or something, I'm not sure, but anyway. Okay, so I don't know why they're there. Isn't this cool? And you control this on your phone. So it says, there was a question, what do you want it to be when, what do you want the house to cool down to when you're away? So we put 19. But Richard and I are trying to figure out, how does it know we're away? I don't get it. But love the nest. Pretty coolio. Isn't that neat? Ooh. Oh, look, Richard, it shows the weather. Come see, come see. It is three outside today. Mm -hmm. No wonder I'm cold. Friday's going to be 12. The norm, the high is 20. Mm -hmm. I guess the recorded high. Oh, what are all these things? That sh shows you, that's, I don't know what that is. Well, that's the heat. heat. And then I pushed it and the weather came on. Time, you made the time there and everything. Is the time on here? No, it probably is though. How do you think I get that? Well, that's this heat. What do you think these all are? Do you, oh, maybe you turn them. Thermostat, energy. So I felt really good last evening. I was watching The Catch. I love that show. Anything Shonda Rhimes does, I love. Um, at any rate, this bookcase, oh, it has been, honestly, I can't blame this on our renovations. This has been so dusty and dirty and it just never got, you know, how you don't clean your bookcases. But I, um, I got this all cleaned up yesterday and I weeded out a whole bunch of books and I wasn't sure where I was going to give the books or if I was going to donate them to the secondhand bookstore that takes money for the hospital or sell them because some of them are in excellent condition. And then this friend of mine, Laura, actually her mom is my friend, so she's not my friend. Her son had died of crib death about 10 years ago. And she posted on Facebook that she wanted to have one of those library, outdoor libraries where you take a book and you give a book and in the in honor of her son Cole. So yes, last night while I was doing this, I texted her and showed her a picture. I said, Laura, do you want these books? She was so delighted. So these are all the books I'm giving her. Well, there's more downstairs. But this is full of books. Just full of them. Like you can see. And they're in really, really good condition. And there's more downstairs. So I'll show you those ones. So here's the box of the other ones. So, yeah. I'm so happy to be contributing to Cole's library. Such a nice thing. So I went to do the remainder of my vlog on my Canon camera because I am aware the audio sucks on this and I'm so sorry. I don't know what's wrong with my iPhone, 
but I think I need to go back to using a vlogging camera because the audio I don't know if it's because I put my hand over the microphone but that could be the problem but anyway the audio sucks so I apologize for that the past few videos I've noticed it and um, I'm gonna go to my Canon but anyway I went to use my Canon and the flipping thing wasn't charged so I'm gonna charge it up and I'm gonna start using that it's harder because you can't see yourself in the Canon so sometimes you might see me talking to you like this or like that or oh I still have purple on the side of my face I'm so distractible aren't I but anyway we're going to get um uh the fixture covers from home hardware home depot one of them home stores and I'm going to download that nest.com app onto the uh phone I'm going to get on my phone before Richard gets it on his it's going to be the war of the roses because I like it hot and he likes it cold so you can control the heat when you're not home this is going to be funny because i'm going to think it's up high and then i'll look and it'll be down again so this is going to be hilarious but anyway yeah it's kind of cool because we didn't have to buy it and apparently they're kind of pricey i think they're like i don't know over 200 dollars. so we would have never purchased anything like that but he just got lucky when he decided to switch both of the utilities over to one that was the free present so lucky for us I guess so yeah we're off we'll have to see if the, is the rhubarb back there I forgot again the rhubarb oh my god how many times have I asked no about well, 45 it's like Richard could you see if the rhubarb's in the back of the car Richard could you see oh, your, rhubarb. you're kidding huh hmm we're just talking about the nest and we found one in here look at the price wow that was a good gift richard really gift good gift so yeah, we went there to get a faucet and we came back with a dishwasher. Hmm. Well, but it was such a good deal again. It's one of those, we needed a dishwasher. Well, Richard says you never save money if you're actually spending. Well, what did you say? You're never saving? What did you say? What was your quote? I said, you, how can you be saving money when you're spending it? Right, but I say, if you need the thing, it's not like you're not going to ever buy it. And dishwashers can be pricey, as you all know. But our builder told us to keep watching and watching for floor models and stuff like that that they want to get rid of. So we saw one about a month ago, maybe, when I won the rock, paper, scissors. Was that about a month ago? Yes, it was. Two months ago? Two weeks ago? What's wrong? Why can't you talk? <laughs> Two weeks ago, I won rock, paper, scissors. So that meant I got the dishwasher instead of what the, were door. You? the door right anyway so we were at metal arc and the dishwasher was a, a little bit more than this one just a little bit seven hundred and seven dollars <clears throat> for this apparently but the door was wrong <laughs> it was missing it's <laughs> bro a broken part and you had to order the part and they couldn't and so we or we pulled the part no yeah, and Been doing all day today all day today just oh, I never thought I'd say I'm tired of shopping but I kind of am I'm tired of errand yeah we're going to get it now I have no lipstick on I've been sporting pink all weekend because I can't find my red lipstick so I can I have about 15 to 20 of them 
but I just can't find the one in my purse, to be more specific. And now this one's all gone, so this is just my freckle lips. I can talk about nothing, random nothingness. But can you see that silver box in the back right there? See that? Right there. Dishwasher. Woo hoo. The guy goes, well, if you're going to lay it on its side, then you can't use it for 24 hours. And I'm like, because, like, follow through. Did you know why this year? You did. You told me. Well, no, before you told me. Oh. Because he said the compressor. Oh. It ruined the compressor if you turn the dishwasher on after having it on its side. But is there any chance of us uh, hooking that up today? <laughs> Do you think there's going to be a problem with hooking that up? Uh, no, I think. So it's Saturday morning. Richard is this guy in the morning. Morning people are the worst, unless you're one of them. And I am not. I'm the girl. I'm not a morning person, okay? I'm not. I'm not. And he's just so guy smiley. He always has been. This morning, 7 o'clock, this is the voice. Richard. Good morning, Monica. I think I'll go outside and I think I'll put some fertilizer on the lawn. Monica. Whoa, dude. Dial it back a little. It's 7 a.m. Well, Richard, I know it's going to rain soon. So if I get the fertilizer on the lawn, then I will be able to uh, water the grass. I'm like, shh. Even the dogs are sleeping. They are still sleeping. So I don't want to hear... It says yip, 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 yip at 7 in the morning. So he tippy toes out of the room. Everything's fine. We're quiet. 15 minutes later, I hear him out the window talking to the neighbor who has a big lab who starts going, woof, woof, woof. Then both dogs in here go absolutely berserko because they hear the dog outside. So Fitz is in his kennel pretty much flipping it like the exorcist's head, flipping it over and over again so he can get out. Percy's running back and forth. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? So I go downstairs, let the dogs out, and Richard's like, do you want to put them on a leash so I can take them on a walk? I'm like, no, I don't. I really don't. How about you come do that? So he's like, okay. And then uh, I'm back up here, and I hear ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong. And then I hear knock, 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 knock. And what you hear from me? Crickets. Crickets. Because I'm thinking, you went out the back door, so just come in the back door. And all he does is laugh at me. It's not funny. I'm not a morning person. It is not funny. It's, it's serious business here. How many of you are morning people and not morning people? Tell me, please, put it in your comment section. Because I'm not a morning person at all. I hate it. But once I'm up, I'm up. I'm up. Now I'm up. So I'm going to take a shower, get ready for the birthday party, and yeah. What you going to do? <laughs> so we've arrived uh, at Launch Pad, which I believe is a... Uh, Trampoline place. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Was that a D? Oh, there he is. Holy, he's big. So here's the gang. I <laughs> money. trying 
to vlog with the new Canon and I can kind of see myself in there so I hope you guys can see all of my face so I'll just get used to what position I have to be in and I think the audio will be much better there's Richard yeah I can see him so yeah so we just got back from what's that place called jump place oh I can't remember the name but I think I took a picture of it earlier in the video so you'll see it and uh, it's kind of a cool system because they had one, two, three parties going on at one time, and they provide the, <clears throat> excuse me, the drinks, and then the kids can jump till their heart's content on these trampolines, and yeah, and then you just have your cake and stuff and call it a day. Ha <laughs> ha! That's his name, a day. Call it a day, get it? Ha <laughs> ha! Get it? Call it a day? <laughs> that's true, that's, that's cool. Pretty funny. I'm pretty clever, aren't I? I hope you guys still see me. I can't see me, but I hope you can. There I am. It is one, only 1.39. I guess who's ready for a nap? Mr. Morning Guy over there. Yep, I'm sure I am. He woke up at 7 a.m. this morning. But I did some work this morning. Oh, I, I know you fertilized the grass, well, you know. The grass and put some um, um, covers over the sockets and the switches. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. Oh, but you got up seven. You didn't need to. I did because I didn't got that done. So we just left Michael's. I was looking for these um, metallic paints that Carol and Dubay, she just did the cutest video and I was looking for them but they didn't have them. So, but I came across this coloring book planner and you all know how the coloring books are the trend right now. But I've never seen like a day timer planner thing. So I really like this one. And it's a 15 month calendar and look at oh i didn't even see these i guess these are sort of stickers or something or, oh yeah they are there's stickers you can take off and then color them and stick them on the birthday and you know all that fun kind of stuff right here and it's an 18 month planner sorry and it's no year which i love because, uh, you know, it just makes it more functional. Because then if you buy like in the month of May like I am, you can uh, use it for the entire year till the next May. And also, uh, it was regularly priced $19.99, so 20 bucks. So I knew I could use my 40% off coupon. So yeah, I got this. This is from Monica. And then, well, everything is for me. Well, no, it isn't. Then I bought this in the clearance bin. It was uh, Hottie Swap. Hello, gorgeous. It is dividers. Uh, they are. They look like they're for an 8x8 eight eight album, I'm guessing. But there are six different dividers in there. You could probably just make a mini book out of this. And they, there's the pages. One says it's all good. There's clouds. You know, it's just a really cute little kit, and it was $3.99. It was regular $12.99. And then I got these little, in the $1.50 bin, these cute little paper clips that say G. And, you know, we're going to New York, and it's Gina's birthday, and I thought I could maybe use these on her card. They're metallic, red metallic. So the entire order cost me... A 16 so yeah 16.94 which is so cool because the book was 20 bucks so that's when those coupons come in to play it's when you're buying something it's very rare that you can find regular place items at Michael's anymore they're always on clearance but 
I really wanted this planner and I'm going to color the cover and then color the months as they come along. So anyway, while we were in the store, I was just pointing out to Richard, you know how you used to be able to get Crayola pencil crayons or Laurentian pencil crayons in Canada for like three, four bucks a package. Now, <laughs> the Crayola pencil crayons were ridiculous. But there was one there that had like this fancy ornate box. And they're pencil crayons, people. They were $27.99. And then Richard just told me he was doing an art project. And he was looking for, a, was it purple colors for that book? Just colors. Just something he was illustrating color. a book. And he was looking for the right color. So he went to Delta Art Supply. And he just informed me that he just bought some pencil crayons that cost $100. That I'm not allowed to touch. <laughs> I'll be touching them. I can borrow them. This guy, this has got to be right on the right kind of paper for them to be the brilliant. Obviously, the paper. So they didn't work for you. No, but they will work. But well, it has to be on the right kind of paper. Hundred dollar pencil grids and they didn't work. Uh, yeah. Do, are they watercolor pencils? They're just. I'll show you them. That's pretty funny. Yeah, so Perhaps I'm, they'll work really good so, on my day timer. So I gotta find the right kind of paper. It's probably this. No, no, not that. I bet. It's not for day timer. I bet it is. This is for it's for artwork to be put up, not mm, to be put in a mm. book. I totally forgot to show you guys. Um, Richard installed this last night, the new faucet, and this is why I loved it. Watch here. See the water comes out like a waterfall. Isn't that neat? I just love that. So we weren't doing too many changes, well hardly any, to this bathroom. Like it didn't really need any changes. And this faucet was not working at all. It was like giving a dribble of um, water and we weren't sure what the problem was, but it was the faucet. So that's that one we got for such a deal. And the guy was saying, well, they don't sell the floor models because, you know, a little thing in the back here that stops the stopper. But this sink is the type that this is the stopper right there. So we did, it didn't matter to us whether that worked or not. Because we have a stopper already. So that's just kind of a decorational thing. You see? And then this is, you just push on that sideways and it unstops it. So, love my new faucet. I just think it's so cool looking and such a bargain. Just finished making a card for my niece and the card's all sealed inside here because you know we're going to New York. So, and then I sealed it with my uh, sealing wax on the back and it's a moon. And I made an envelope with my envelope maker. So um, the video will be posted if you want to see the card. The card's really pretty. And yeah, so I'm all done. So I'll just have this all ready. I'll just tuck it up here and take it with me when we go. So I'm going to go upstairs and lay down for a little while and watch The Fosters on Netflix. I love that series. Oh my goodness. It's about a foster family and the um, two mothers happen to be gay. But that doesn't impact on the story at all. It's just like a... A typical family with all these foster kids and and the ins and outs of their lives and series three or yeah series three just was released so oh, I can't wait to watch it yay if you really want a really good wholesome series that's a really good one. big one I don't know why I just didn't and um, but getting this second one this guy off wow that thing was glued on there so and then I am going to I have this thing I have no idea where my mother got this years ago it's heavy 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 cement it's gorgeous and I don't know what it means I should google that I am going to take it because our tones in our home are not going to be so 
warm anymore. They're more grays and whites and blacks. So I'm just gonna take some white paint and wipe, uh, put it on with a sponge brush and then wipe it off so I don't lose any of this, but takes away some of that goldy color. And all the pictures that I had on top of this piano are all gonna be in white frames above there. But I love how that looks. I've got this all whitewashed and you can still read the words and stuff. And I looked it up and apparently, my mom must have picked this up in Sweden. See the Swedish flag there? And it's a, a famous wall monument that a, Sweder, a so, Swedish soldier has built in Sweden. And it's something to do with the downfall of the Swedish army and that's a dying lion lying there. So yeah, that's kind of interesting. I didn't even know that. But it makes the coolest wall hanging. It's really, really heavy. So I did the sides as well. It's got a really good hook. I'm sure she bought this on one of her many journeys. It's got a cool hook on the back, see? So, project number two down. Okay, I had to interrupt my home decor. Um, projects and come on looking as bad as I looked when I started this uh, vlog um, <laughs> to tell you something so funny I put a post on Facebook I actually got it from my sister who I started laughing when I read it and you're supposed to cut it and paste it and put it on your own post and it says I just had a terrible accident I uh, f I fell off I got on a horse and I fell off and my foot got caught in the stirrups and the horse kept dragging me round and round and round and this kind man helped me, and thank God the manager came and unplugged the um, horsey ride from Walmart or Kmart or wherever, and then that's when you know it's just a joke. I've had more people actually think that I was in a horse accident because they don't read all the way to the end. And I just got a phone call long distance from my friends Larry and Denise in California, and he said, I had to call you because Denise was hollering for him, Larry, Larry, Monica's been in this horse accident. And he's like, what? And he's like, come, the horse was dragging her around. And she was, he said, it sounded like she was right there when it happened. Like she was giving so many details. This horse was dragging her around. So he said he came and read it. And they laughed so hard. They had such a good laugh about that, that they had to call me. So, <laughs> so nice to know I'm so loved. If I got in a horse Horse accident that everyone would love me so much. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here with that little laugh. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Thanks for joining us on our weekend. And we'll see you all next week. And oh, the vlog will be from the Big Apple NYC. So yeah, I'm going to be vlogging my trip there. So we'll see you next weekend. Bye.